Radio now to 23 minutes past 8 it is on this beautiful Thursday morning and it's the 1st of October and you're in the company with nobody but Maria and also Neville and Kofi this morning and our technical team behind us nobody but uh, Sammy Nakanyala and also Marius Cleveland Maestro have you with us? <laughs> Don't you just love this song? Eh? Oh, namaste. This is a glory. Yeah. What are they saying? Well, who's that? Is it uh, Adora. Adora? Adora. Would yeah. it be fair to say that the Namas make better music than the rest of the country? Oh, yes. Huh? And I, I, I challenge someone in this studio yep. to, 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 to come and counter that argument. Yes. Who's going to uh, counter? Oh, 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 okay. Yeah. Okay. I know how I should come. Uh, <laughs> we need to. We need to I know my people. <laughs> I know where our strengths lie. I know where our weaknesses lie. Okay. Except next thing. Singing is not your best quality. <laughs> Who said once never? Kalonga, Iyalo, Iyalo. Kalonga, Kalonga, Kalonga. Yes. And yeah. we got to see a bit of that yesterday. We were busy with auditions. We're putting on the oh yes, we're putting on the final touches uh-huh. to our knockout project <laughs> for Saturday. Never. Uh, we just want to urge you guys out there. Good, first and foremost, good morning to everybody out there. Good morning <coughs> to all Hello. Namibians and every everybody wherever you are in the world. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Now. We've been letting you guys into the uh, uh, the homeless project through MTC that me and Maria are part of. And Proudly. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, we are busy with rehearsals now the last couple of days. And uh, um, last night we rehearsed at the National Theatre. Please buy your tickets mm-hmm. uh, through your app or whatever yeah mtc mm-hmm. i don't know come g- give me your phone um go to the um, go to the to the artist group oh, 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 let me just give you guys clear instructions <coughs> but these instructions are available on at mtc at mm-hmm. mtc um but just okay, so Maria, that those other pictures that you see on my phone eh, yeah it's, I yeah, that it's really so <laughs> this is how you buy your tickets you go to the web web browser at knockout.mtc.com.na um you enter your ticket reference number and then you enjoy <coughs> the show this is but of course first you have to buy the tickets okay uh t- yeah only fifty dollars only fifty dollars you send an sms knockout to three 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 and that's it uh, watch us. <coughs> Trust me, it's not a show you want to miss. It's definitely not a show you want to miss. Based on what I've been seeing on stage during rehearsals. Ooh. Yeah. Me included. <laughs> and, 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 and let me just give you guys, you know, the lowdown on this show. It's like last year with the knockout boxing. Uh, we, don't, we don't focus on the success of the show. The entertainment. We, we it, w- there must be some entertainment value, like Mensa wat falsen and so. But you must just practice. That's why they build showers. <laughs> mm. Or on the on the toilet, on the loo, where yeah. you've got time for yourself. You find the right tone, and then you practice. You know, I have a newfound respect for you guys, Kofi. Mm-hmm. On the singing side? Yes, on the singing side. I, I don't think I'll be asking for free tickets anymore after this. Mm-mm. I will go out and support our artists because I have a newfound respect. Oh, I didn't man, think yeah. they will perform. Yeah. But Thank you'll God. be fine. Don't you worry. You just keep... It's the journey. <laughs> and it, the journey. Uh, Do you get those butterflies in your stomach no, before you go okay, on? okay, <laughs> but... Uh, yeah. Coffee. Yes. For instance, you who are a musician, mm-hmm. if, if you start... Uh, writing a song okay what what do you look at to say because you know what i listen to a song like adora day right okay adora's music basically it transcends over a few cultural bo- borders sure it's tamara nama they are heroes it's just a nice beat 
Now, if she sits down and writes that song, mm -hmm. it needs to resonate with her that man, here is song can work. Yeah. Is it is it the same for you if you if you write a song like okay, my audience will like this or right. Like so how does it it's, work? It's, it's a cultural thing, I think. To begin okay. with, it's a cultural th uh, thing. Let's say European music, Western music, um, mm. the Eastern side, maybe Chinese, that mm. kind of... Everybody's got its own cultural, and African music has its own culture. Yeah. And, um, and that's the beauty about it. So yeah. I, if Adora uh, writes her own song, I don't know through what process she goes through. Yeah. But let's say, for example... If I were to write a song, it'll typically be more European, Western style of course, based. Because okay. you're German, yeah. Yeah, so there's a, there's a certain structure. So, for example, you'd have, for example, verse, verse, chorus, um, verse, key change, um, a lead instrument, and then uh, verse, chorus, chorus. That, that's the typical geographical makeup of a song. But uh, in African music, you can clearly hear, although I love African music, mm. um, th that kind of geography mm. in songwriting is not necessarily followed. Yeah, I'll tell you about that. I'll tell you The namas, they've got a... They've got a a nama beat to yeah. it, you know, and mm. it's it's it's. Oh, I love it. I, it gives that that culture its own identity, and that's mm. so. Yeah, that's that's basic. So, yeah. Maria, what songs will you be singing? <laughs> Calling my name. Uh, uh -huh. Okay. Uh, Vaughan Aarons and archetype. Um, he wrote them himself, actually. That's why I also have a newfound respect for him. They're very. Wow. I must say, you know what, Kaufi? Mm -hmm. I, I saw Maria uh, Rias last night. Yes. And <coughs> the, the songs that she'll be, perf be performing are two very difficult songs. Okay. Uh, in terms of, bec because it's a completely different genre as to yeah. what, you know, yeah, the general to public is used to. Is yeah. Used to. Yeah. So you really need to it's like pop rock. zone in there and really look for the entertainment value to yeah. it. Yes. Because it's very poetry-ish, yes. artistry, ah. like yeah. there's no, no dancers. deeper message. Yes. Deeper yes. message. Yes. Okay. Yes. So. yes, yes, There's no dancers. I <laughs> literally stand with a mic. That's all I'm doing. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, all of you out there, um, uh, we've got some questions here. Where can the people get tickets? Um, there are some of our viewers and listeners <coughs> who want to know where can they get the tickets. Yeah, I just read out the instructions. You have to send an MS SMS to, what, just, what was the number? Say knockout I project. I don't know, I can't read it. No, I can't read it. Okay, let me just say, you, you, you know, we don't have to buy tickets, so it's yeah. different for us. And, 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 and Jella mentioned, eh, I, I know again, uh, these questions will come up during the stream yeah. mm -hmm. and tomorrow. Jela Lokasi mentioned, ne? Black people, especially you black people who's watching the show. Please don't send me a WhatsApp. <laughs> I'll never Vasi comps me bro. As any a comp. As any a mahala ticket me as a bleep. We don't do mahala, okay? But yeah. tal is just fifty. All right. Dollars. Let me give you the instructions. You SMS, knock out one word, knock out with a K, knock out, two, triple three. Once you SMS that, it costs you fifty dollars. You will get a reference number. You will then take this reference number to a web browser. It can be on your phone. You don't need a computer for it. But you will go to knockout.mtc.com.na. And then it will ask you to enter your ticket reference number. And you'll put that in, and then you can enjoy the show. Now, uh, very easy. Over the years, I would always have people who ask for comps, uh, complimentary tickets, etc. And I would perform like tonight. Okay. Nice, sold out show, blah, 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 blah. And after the show, I'll probably drive uh, just to obviously get get rid of the euphoria that I that I've been going through then I would maybe drive to a service station to go just to go buy myself a chocolate or something while I reflect as to how the show was for the evening mm. then I would meet some of these guys at the service station oh Neville my bro is your show my show was tonight 
Ik wil gekomen, man. Ik wil gekomen. So, coffee in the white community, if yep. you have events, do white people also ask for complimentary tickets? Oh, no, 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 you get that all over the place. Oh, look, 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 <laughs> they, they climb up fences and dig holes and all that. No, in all the communities, is it Saladin? They gate crash like you won't believe. Nee, man. Okay, but pay your, pay your artist. Money would be to me. Okay, Maria, I, I'm so happy. I'm so relieved. This is not a black problem. No, no. <laughs> Ish. It's a character problem. You should see them at the Vikas and the Oktoberfests and what what. Nee, nee dat is iets verschrikkelijks. <laughs> no. Maar ik heb al gezien. Wie yes. kijkt Calvin? Ik heb al ge, ik heb gedink, ons, ons drink de aan Karatura. Ja. Yeah. You have done a few, uh, uh, what do you call it? Vikas. Yes. <laughs> and I would perform at the international evening. Hey, die deze is drink. Wat ik jullie net zei, is niet een grap nie. So, but you guys got a strong beer cup. Yeah, it's beer. The and Germany is with Jäger Germans Meister. and beer and, and yeah, kleine kleine they call it. The little ones. Yeah, I hate that drink. Yeah, yeah, the kleine kleine. So typically it started off the old traditional kleine kleine is you drink your beer and you have a tot brandy on the side. And then you sip on the brandy and you drink <coughs> your beer and but that's all basically gone into the Jägermeisters and the Underbergs and all that kind of I stuff. I just want to tell you that, uh, Maria, uh, I don't know if you know Kleiner Keiler, if you've ever seen it. Uh, uh, Kleiner Keiler is the most racist drink yep. towards black people. Okay. It's, it's a very racist drink. <laughs> uh, and it's, uh, maybe it tastes good, but uh, it's, it's just racist because Maria, the first thing that you need to do if you drink a kleine keile, moet je die proppie afhaal. Mm -hmm. And you must put the proppie on the tip of your nose. Mm -hmm. uh, hello, Maria. <laughs> <laughs> no, never. You can't keep it How? <laughs> I, I don't ask white people to dance. Yes, <laughs> white people can't Why dance. Why must white people ask me to put a very <laughs> proppy <laughs> top of my nose? You <laughs> don't pass me, you saw me. Jesus. So that drink was clearly designed not for us. Okay. Who <laughs> <laughs> drink your coffee, Yoka? I guess up a second. All right, we need to get into <laughs> COVID. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, uh, let's get a little bit more serious. Uh, Namibia, we're giving you a COVID update. Coronavirus cases in Namibia are at 11,265. Deaths, we are still on 121 and recovered on 9,014. So effectively, when we look at these figures, we seem to be staying at 11,200 um, cases, uh, not a major surge. And um, yeah, in terms of the one that uh, Maria is always interested in are the active cases. Mm -hmm. We are now standing at 2,130 active ones. All right. Mar, but yes. there seems to be a bit of a problem. Yep. Okay, Maria, please tell us. No, you go ahead. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we there, there seems to be a bit of a problem in our schools when it comes to coronavirus. And um, what is that area? I always pronounce it wrong um, in the well north of the country. Onanjokwe, but Onanjokwe is the hospital. Onanjokwe is the hospital. Yeah, but mm. we're going to say it is, it is considered a district area by the Ministry of Health. Okay. So this is where the confusion is coming from. So... It's they're saying Onanjokwe school because right. for the health district it's Onanjokwe. Of course, a regional district it wouldn't be. It would be around Onipa, which is Oshikoto region. I see. Yeah. Okay. So in that area, uh, the, the we we seem to be having a surge in coronavirus cases in the schools. So the the big question is: I drive past one particular school here in Vintuk every day, and. Um, that is the Delta school, and I do see the kids when they line up for school in the mornings, they do have their masks on and they do stand uh, 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 one and a half meters apart and all that kind of stuff. Would it not be, s can't we just say that it's difficult to contain the virus in schools and should we not keep the schools closed still, especially mm. for the, the, the young kids? Because they are going to play with each other. They are going to be on the playground. And they are, they gonna are going to touch each other. And they are going to share masks. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Because oh, it's nice fun mask. to do. Yeah, let's swap. Ah, you know, that's a, a, a very nice mask. Yeah, yeah. 
So um, that seems to be a bit of an issue, but we are going to, um, you know, just keep a, a, a beady little eye on it, and then we'll let you guys know as to what's happening. I think I think it's obviously a um, it's a choice that every parent must 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 make, take make yes. or must make yeah. for themselves uh, and their family and their families. Yeah. Uh, so. It's just how it is. Yeah. So that's your coronavirus update to Namibia, and we hope that you have a <laughs> safe and wonderful Thursday. Today, the 1st of October. Mm. September is finished, 1st of October. Happy October. Silly season. Silly really? season. Yeah, silly October season. October is silly season? It, it's starting to run. October, November. Now we're going to see divorces and uh, people oh leaving. Oh Everybody goes mad in October, November. Are you it's amal rag mal. October is silly season? Silly yeah. season is October, I have November. No idea. Yeah, yeah, suicides, yeah. Suicides. Yeah, suicides and that kind of stuff. goes up in October. Yes. No, it can't be globally. Maybe yeah. there's a specific area. If they talk about October, I've yeah, no, you could be right. No, because... But with suicide, it's found like, for <coughs> example, in European countries, specifically Scandinavian countries, mm. um, the coldest weather, so that's when they see a surge in suicide rates, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And here it seems to be the opposite. Um, I did a story once on Omusati. I mean, the Omusati region just had a surge of suicide. Yeah. But they were always during a specific time of year. So I was trying to understand what happens during this. And it was actually found it's when it's got the warmest cl weather, climate. So it's almost like it's the opposite of of mm. Europe. So you never leave around Ukraine, over. It's not me mentioning. Yes, almost that is as as Kwambis. Yes, Kwambis. No. Kwambi. Yeah, sometimes. Eleven. Yeah. But they don't do that anymore. Not really now. <coughs> And it's not only Kwambis, I think there's another tribe as well, I'm not sure. Uh, look, mm. I don't know enough, I know uh, about the Kwanyamas, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah. it's um, yeah, it's it's silly season, but um, yeah, please. Suicides? Mm. Suicides. Um, Divorce? Divorces, separations, oh, that kind married. of stuff. Um, I've been watching it uh, whilst I've been in media for, for a l quite a number of years. I've been watching this type of October-November syndrome. And we can talk about it a little bit later again, maybe in a month or two <coughs> months' time, and we'll get all the statistics together. And it, I don't know, Maria, why that is. Mm. It's, um, it's just one of these things. Mm. So do you, like, in October, do you observe your relationships a little bit more? I think the, the, the year becomes stressful. Um, yeah. You know, it's ironic. Why, why do we always look at the beginning and the end of a year? For example, let's say 20, uh, 2019. Yeah. Mm. So we get to the end of the year and everybody says, Ish, ek is so moog, ek is so play. Hierdie jaar is klaar. Mm. Meantime, it's just another day in life, isn't yeah. it? So yeah. there's no beginning and end. It's not as if we start every 2019, yeah. 2020. Life, 2020. Yeah. It's just a continuation. But yeah. I think yeah. psychologically, people saying, Oh, this is a moeilijk jaar. Ek is kreis so swaar. My wife doesn't love me anymore. I, <laughs> I'm going to walk out and I just give up on life and all yeah. that. But it's just another day. Mm. But don't you think it's good for, for programming purposes? Um, mm -hmm. Because I know, I mean, even the idea of doing resolutions is that idea of a clean slate, a yep. new beginning, a new chapter. Um, I think people, for at least for their mental and emotional well-being, mm. need to feel like they can start over. If we're just seeing it as a continuation, like, oh, there's just no end to this, especially yeah. when you're yeah. really in the pits. You have to feel like, you know what, there's, there's opportunities, there's ways to overcome it. I can start sure. afraid. Sure. I can't, you know? Yeah. So yeah. It, 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 I think it's important for the mental well-being. Mm. It, it, it works like that in days, in weeks, and in months as well. Yeah. I mean, it, it happens, you just come home, you had a terrible day for mm. some other reason, you, and you just say, thank goodness this day is over, tomorrow's a new one. Mm. Uh, yeah. So yeah, you're right, you're right. Like, I mean, I take this year, and I, I, mean, I don't know how many times I say, like, I just need this year to end. Mm. I just need this year to end. Yes. Now, if I didn't think there was an end in sight, yeah. I would go mad. Yeah. I need to right. feel like I can get into January and feel like, you know what, it's 2021, I can kind of step back, relook at myself, mm. reevaluate and reassess yeah. and move forward accordingly. Yeah, yeah. But I need this year to end. 
Okay, so w what Maria is actually saying is it's not as bad as it as it <laughs> looks at the time, yeah. and uh, there's always opportunity and new chances for all the Namibians out there. Yes. Uh, don't yeah. let October, November month get to you. It's only a moment, <laughs> and there, there are new opportunities. Yeah. I, th I, th I think for me, uh, and 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 it's it's always a creed that I live by. There's nothing that I that I seem to start. Yeah. Uh, if I make a certain resolution for myself, mm -hmm. I want to start this on a Monday, like you do say, or on the 2nd of January or whatever. Yeah. It's most likely to fail for me. Mm. I, I would normally, if I want to start something new, if it's I need to go on a new diet or whatever, I would normally start it on a Wednesday or Thursday. Mm -hmm. a, a day that sort of my body doesn't expect it to start happening. Mm. Yeah. So if I start preparing for something on a Monday, it always ends in failure for me. Really? Yeah, no, 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 no. So I never like start program your brain. Me. Yeah, my brain has been, I've just, like, normally, like, in the beginning of, of the year, I normally start with my resolutions around the f 15th of February. Ah. I never start ah. nothing yeah. in January because I know everybody's doing it in January. Yeah. Mm. And you can clearly see, if I start, for instance, going to the gym, say, the 15th of February, you st still see that the gym is sort of full, mm. but check here by March, mm. end of March, beginning April. Yes. Then all those now resolutions that you people had, uh, <laughs> Neville, you are spot on. Ro <laughs> here, here it comes. Roviera says, people put out goals for the year, and for some, when it gets closer to, to the end, they feel that they've not achieved those goals. Yeah. So the, the deeper thoughts, the deeper feelings is that I'm worthless, I've not accomplished, I yeah. have not achieved. Mm. And meantime, you did. I mean, yeah. uh, you know, if you hit for the stars and you land on the moon, then you're on the moon. Um, so... Don't, 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 don't let it get to you. Get Marie Riarmon on that stop. Yeah. Uh, the That's easy there you go again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I hate the, the <laughs> j I promise you, the gym in January is the absolute worst place to be in. True. Because people have resolutions. Mm. I'm going to get my body right. I'm gonna dedicate myself. Yeah. So you just give them January, February, March. It's back to empty. I don't <laughs> like the gym. I don't like the gym because you've got to pay 700 bucks a month and mm. then you've got to pick up those weights yourself. <laughs> And that just doesn't make any sense. So for those of you who are gym people, who can betaal jylle 700 dollar a maand en dan moet jylle die gewichte self op. Self gaan op, ja. Nee man. <laughs> they at least can give you somebody to help you. It makes a lot of sense, coffee. <laughs> <laughs> you pay to go work. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, Ephraim Shilongo says, Namibia has a cultural weakness when it comes to mental health. People are kept hostage by culture and traditions. They are not allowed to talk about their personal issues, socio-cultural issues, marriage issues, until they just decide enough is enough. I agree. I agree. That's that's always going to be our downfall. Fantastic, Ephraim, for yeah. uh, giving us that uh, that, uh, that that comment. In fact, in fact, companies should make uh, should normalize um, employees needed to go on. Mm -hmm. If you're not well mentally, yes, that should be allowed should be able to come to the office and say, you know what, or call in because you can't come in and say, you know what, I'm really going through, you know, Difficult like, times. yes, my mental well-being is just not, I mean, and you know, yeah. me mental health issues come with a lot of things. You know, we've s spoken about it. It's mm -hmm. depression. It's all these other things. But I think people should be able to say, because you don't really need a health certificate for it. Yeah. You just need time out. Yes. You need a time out. Um, but it's obviously it's not allowed. You can't you can't come and apply leave at I don't think any company and say, mm -hmm. Oh well I'm not doing well. I'm not doing well. Yeah. What's wrong with you? Do you need to say doctor, no, I'm just mentally I'm just not well. What yes. does that mean? Yeah. Be because uh, uh, well. it is expected of everybody to be on top of the yes. world and in top form yes. and just perform, perform, yes. perform, perform. Yes, yes. Yeah. True. Yeah. Huh? True. Yeah. So anyway, still uh, 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 Castro Paul says, Guten Morgen, Guten Morgen Castro, uh, Oshi on Deutsche there this morning. Mm -hmm. uh, he says, Ish Maria looks like she's going to rob a bank today, but still in style. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You know, almost I told you like Simon Mary hats are now available in Vinsuk and you know me, I'm a fan. So I'm just yes. getting everything I can get my hands on. <laughs> Anything. <laughs> Maria wears. Doesn't matter what she can. She can come in here with a. It's uh, a garbage bag, trash yeah, can, yeah, black uh, bag. With a Kanye West T-shirt, 
she can still make it look good. <laughs> so yeah, some of us can't do. We uh, uh, we can't. Coffee, you and me, we can't mm. pull off stuff like this. <laughs> no, we. we you see, the, the girls have it better. They, <laughs> can, that they, cute. they can dress more fashionably and all yeah. that. We just pants and shirt guys. That's all. Jean, jean and t-shirt. Yeah. This no, is no, even no, over I know dress. a lot of fashionable guys actually. No. Okay. Yeah. But that's my industry. They no, always they look, jail. always look good. <laughs> they in jail. Huh? <laughs> the fashionable guys are in jail. Those guys who wear the nice suits. Ah, that's correct. In jail for the, the fish people. I didn't say it, Kofi. No, this guy's not Kofi, fashionable. Why, why are you bringing up stuff like no, that? No, but you're so far off. I'm not even talking. I'm talking about fashionable people. Yeah, but fashion, listen, we always, you must understand. Mm. Us guys, we always looked at those guys as fashionable guys. Mm -hmm. I so don't. No, 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 it's, it's you. You yeah. understand? If, you, if we would They wear expensive things, but are they expensive? fashionable? Expensive. Because we sort of equates expensive with fashionable. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it fashionable to look good in jail? <laughs> <laughs> hey? Wow. Jeez, I'm in jail, but look at me. <laughs> Talking about fish. <laughs> fish. Coffee, yeah, yeah. Um, there's a little introduction to a story that we want you to read. A story that you want me to read? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so uh, Namibia, brace yourself. Now we're going to open up a can of worms. <laughs> and worms are what we use to catch fish. fish. <laughs> yeah. no? All right, so the media is reporting this morning, and the headline says, Quota Auction Disaster. Government yesterday conceded failure of its inaugural fish quota auction, which generated a shocking return on one of the country's leading resources. Okay. So, Neville, don't you must... Okay, let me just read this one mm, more paragraph. Yeah, yeah, a series of schoolboy errors has led to a massive failure of the government's recent fish quota auction, which netted the state a very pathetic 8.5 million Namibia dollars out of successful bids that were initially worth 627 million Namibia dollars. Oh, let me no, drink no. my tea. So, yeah, it, this one is hard to swallow. We were expecting six hundred and thirty million dollars, and bragged about it, and bragged about it, and then we just raised eight point five. Listen, you, Move the, no. you must stop being so negative in this country. Yeah, we said the six hundred million will come. Yes, we just didn't say when it will come. Okay, so the eight million. <laughs> <laughs> this is just the first part of the six. I What am I saying here? No. What what happened the there? The f I, I blame the Minister of Finance mm. for getting excited and announcing how much they've made before payments were made. Right. So, and there were misunderstandings. Yep. I think people that submitted their documents, I think didn't even really grasp you know the process when they have to pay how much they're paying uh per, per metric ton and per so forth ton, yeah. it mm -hmm. was it was it was a mess so they just i mean it's like it's like me submitting a document saying i'm interested in buying this quota for five million right and he says 10 million and you say 5 million that's 20 million and then the m before we've paid or made a commitment or signed any documents the finance minister says, we have raised 20 million. Kla. No, no, you money haven't. Money is not in the bank yet. It, it's money is not in the, not the, in bank, the bank. No comment. No, no contracts have been signed. No commitment has been made yet. It was just an interest. Uh -huh. People have just shown interest. So that that's why we had that 600,000 figure. He gave it to us. 627 so million. Six, six, 600 over in excess of 600 million million yes the finance minister gave us that amount he gave us that amount while boasting obviously like so it's a matter of don't catch your fish until they hatch don't <laughs> catch your hatch until they chicken that's it that's us also no gaan geld maken en maak ons dit maak ons die geld maar dan is ons nog steeds blij dan is ons nog steeds blij that's it that's not going to work exactly i remember uh, and 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 it would happen a lot of times especially in in companies who do sales and marketing. You would always have sales sales reps 
who would come back with business yes. and say, yes. okay, I've reached my target. I've reached my target. This is the amount of, and I remember when I used to work for Coca-Cola many, many years ago in the, uh, in, in the, in the early 90s. Then we would come, mm -hmm. we would sell cans and cans and krata krata coke. Right. But the money is not in the bank yet. So the money is, I mean, the stock is out, but the money is not in. Yes. And, 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 and it seems like, I'm, I'm not too sure, Maria, but, but it seems like there was um, a little misunderstanding in terms of the price that the, that the, that the buyers yeah, yeah, basically a lot of confusion, yeah. thought that they're going to be paying okay. for this fish. Okay. And once they realize, whoo, this is exactly what they are paying per metric ton or whatever, yes. that's basically where this deal basically just went into a store. Do I understand this right, that the total quota in terms of this auction, yeah. which should have brought in over 600 million, was effectively then sold for 8 million? And the <laughs> money is not in the bank yet. <laughs> so it has been sold. The hammer is gefall. The problem is they've been given... I think government obviously still expect to to raise this 600 and what odd million. Um, and I listened on to the news this morning. They said they're still giving this whoever put in a bid a grace period as to to collecting this money from them. Mm. But we know this is highly unlikely yeah. because there was a discrepancy as to as to what the price is per metric ton or what these guys thought that they are paying for. Um, it's like Kofi. And you guys, mm -hmm. I think you're also very much um, into into the passion of, of, of cattle, etc. Yeah. And and I remember over the years when I would go and buy cattle at Agra, mm -hmm. you would sit there, the cattle would come through, I would look at cows or bull or whatever, and I would put on, I would put in a a, a bit right there and then. Yes. Mar, ye betal. Darso. Darso. Yeah. Those. I mean, those cattle will not be uploaded on this truck unless you pay for it. Yeah. So, uh, it's to, to look at this comparison now, uh, I think Agra knows right there and then how much money that they've made for the day mm -hmm. once the cattle is sold. This is completely something different. Yeah. Yeah. The bits were put in, but the money is not in the bank at the moment. So it's quite an embarrassment. So, in other words, they can go and catch the fish, and once they've sold it, they made the money, then they'll pay the eight million. That work is so Give me a discount the when I make my money. But that's a good idea. I think let's go put in a bit and we tell them let, we're going to go catch the fish. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we'll pay you back when, when we sell once we've we got the fish. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, the other yeah. things, why are there not reserve prices on these kind of quotas? In other words, you know you, you need over access of 600 million, you put in a reserve price and say nothing is going to go unless we've got at least 300 million. Mm. Reserve pricing. Yeah. Then uh, uh, Eraser and Gipang Galva says technical committee on fish quotas have no technical know-how. Mm. And uh, uh, Ro Vieira says the president and the finance mus minister must address the nation on the auction situation and uh, Namibia wants answers. I you know what I think happened? I think um, initially when they announced that they're going to auction the resources and there was a lot of obviously, um, I would say, negative uh, responses to that. Um, I mean, people were up in arms and saying, well, how can you sell our resources, the fish rod, this is how we yes. got into this situation, blah, 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 blah. And so when people put in their bids, I think the... The g I think government wanted to show us, like, you know what? We were right in our decision. Look at how much money we were able to bring mm. in. Yes. Mm. It, like, you know, and then mm. they, they obviously, it's all that. Out. Yes, and it always okay. out. So okay. then you came forward, gave an amount, um, and then now literally egg on their face. Well, not literally, metaphorically, but <laughs> yeah, it's not a good morning for government today. <laughs> Ronnie Joe Kandiri Kirira says, I believe some people were buying so that they can go and sell on a bigger price, but they didn't get any buyers. Ah. That's a very, very yeah. good yeah. point. Yeah. I mean, who's trying to buy fish during this time? I mean, it's tough th times. Th there, there are, you must understand, when it comes to, to, to one fish source, which is horse mackerel, mm -hmm. it is black gold when it goes when it when we talk about countries like Zambia and the DRC if you can get a buyer there 
because they're always in need of fish. Mm. But of, of course it comes at, at risk like this, um, mm. where uh, the person becomes the villain, the hero becomes the villain. Yeah, yeah. yeah, um, yeah. But I mean, that's why you could always change it. I wonder, uh, <coughs> that street name that we talk about now. The Bernhard Esso Street. Yeah, mm -hmm. I wonder if it's going to remain as is. And then you had a petition that was put in by AR. Was it this week? To name the prison after. To name, to rename the Swakopmoon prison to Bernard Esso uh, prison. Okay. Hey, but I think it's a little bit far-fetched from me. No, no, I think, Aish. again, I'm oh. sorry I'm going to use this word. I mm -hmm. mean, th it's just to antagonize. Yeah. Antagonize and yeah. It's yeah. A bit of juvenile. Like yeah. Well I think it's done deliberately. And I mm. think they know realistically it's not going to happen. Mm. But um, it wouldn't be AR if they're not staring the port, causing controversy, um, you know, just poking. Poking the whole time. Just poking government. <laughs> the bear, poking the bear. <laughs> And that's ultimately what it is, because I mean, I mean, realistically, we know as m whatever feelings you have of him, he's not convicted. Yeah. And until he's convicted, maybe then you can put in a request. Say, well, he's a convicted, uh, corrupt former fisheries minister. Mm. Name the prison after him. He's doing. Mm. He's serving time in, in one of, like the Vuntuk one for, mm. uh, crimes that he's been convicted of. But in the right now, he's mm -hmm. still considered. I know it's tough, mm. yes. but he's still considered innocent until proven. Until proven otherwise. Yeah. By a court of law. By a court of law. So. Okay, so that's the situation that we are in. We've got a particular comment. Um, we are moving off the fish topic. Um, Tarek uh, Mustafa says, speaking of Agra Neville, mm. makes me think of the wildfires in Namibia. Can you guys please shed some more light on the wildfires, the bushfires that we had? I saw that the other bush Bushfeld. Bushfeld burnings. Uh, I mean, the grass is extremely dry throughout the country currently. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So, felt fires are highly likely in this type of field. Obviously, if the first rains comes, then, then it sort of quells the fires. But mm -hmm. um, I think there was the Kalkfeld area. Yes, it was in the uh, northeast of Okahandja. In mm -hmm. that area, we've, we've seen fires, we've, but we've also seen fires in the Zambezi region. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know? yeah, yeah. And I know that there are uh, some communal areas where they set, uh, the fire, uh, the s they set the felt on fire purposefully. For what? For um, the, the, the regenerating under the under the thought of regenerating the ground, new, um, grass. The new grass when it rains, the new fresh grass has got then space and gets more sunlight to mm. grow and all that kind of stuff. Mm, interesting. Um, I know that there are p some 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 uh, farmers, uh, community local community farmers out there that set light to their old mahango fields. Wow. So, but the, here comes the problem. It's all good and well that you perhaps burn it down, but then if that fire gets out of control and starts burning other areas, mm. you know, to keep that mm. that under control, I think that that's reminds a bit difficult. No? Reminds me of the elderly woman who burnt her mahango field because she was trying to kill a mouse. Oh yes, remember that. <laughs> I okay. Neman, what are you guys really? You, uh, not you guys. Are you girls really that scared of mice and I spiders? Am, I would and probably stuff. even set my house on fire. Trying to get rid of a mouse. I, I can't stand rodents. Maria was whispering what she just shared with us. Let me just reiterate again so everybody hears. There was a woman in the north mm -hmm. searching for a mouse. No, she wasn't searching. She, she saw it. a mouse. Yes, <laughs> she saw a mouse. And in the Mahango field. Yeah, in a, in, a, in a bush in the Mahango field. Like on a, yeah. so I'm going to kill this mouse. Yes. So she burned down the mango field. Yes, she, was she, was she wanted to burn down the grass where she spotted. She wanted to burn down the grass where she spotted. Ooh. And then the fire got out of control. Don't play with it's fire. It's an elderly woman, though. Omoko, 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 omoko. Um, yeah. Okay, we've still got uh, a couple of comments. People don't really want us to talk about... I see you also <laughs> have a habit of couple. Mm. Yeah. You. yeah. Couple of comments is two comments. Listen. Listen, couple. There are lots of comments. Nee, yes. Leister. Kijk, English expert, nee. Uh, yeah. She keeps on schooling me in Cubase. 
uh, on a daily basis here. Be like when we talk about, you know, uh, we. I'm gonna go to South of Mont in a couple of weeks, and I'm like, oh, in two weeks? No, 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 no. Maybe next month. I'm like, but you said couple. That's yeah. two. Okay, so we must lose the word. M we must lose the word couple. Yes, it's too vague. Exactly. Kani. But it just, I it just to irritate my English teacher. It just to irritate my English teacher, and now I've, I'm like, uh, I get irritated. Is it? Ah. You and your English teacher, ne? Jelle moet net ver gaan spelen. Mrs. Elliot. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. So read your couple of comments. So don't say a couple of comments. <laughs> couple is two. Uh, okay, I'll read. I'll read the comments. <laughs> 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 I read a few, a few comments. comments. Yeah. Um, okay. We've got a comment saying that uh, uh, this is Camilo Hilao Haimini says you guys stop talking about Esso. The guy is in hot water, and you're busy there talking about him. Yeah, he's in hot water. I mean, no. So what's your point? <laughs> yeah, and then uh, Ronnie Joe Kandirikirira says, "Don't give any credit to those fish rot cowards." Mm -hmm. the, 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 when I see these comments, it, it just shows me that Namibia is disturbed about that whole thing. Uh, we Namibians are upset. We are angry. We are sad. We are. We'll, yeah. stay upset. we'll stay upset for a very long time. Yeah. It's the resources, country's resources. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And uh, we we happen to live in Namibia which is kind of living like in a desert. It's difficult enough for us to basically, you know, get our Namibian prosperity up and, you know, build a, a, a nation that where we can be prouder that we are better off than yesterday. Yes. And then yeah. these people just come and plunder mm. our resources and mm. steal them. Mm. It's called stealing. Yeah. Stealing! Does that... That's so. Come on, what say, Rimezo? Kofi, the lady wanted to eat that mouse. Asino, <laughs> Erastus. Yeah. So. Well done. No, I don't. Or medium so. <laughs> And, uh, oh, I had to refresh my phone because the broad broadcast froze. I know we've got a little bit of technical issues this morning, but it's oh nothing yeah. that we can, yeah, it's nothing that we can't handle. It's just the internet. But, um, yeah, and uh, that's basically, that's that. Okay, what is today's topic? <laughs> Neville <laughs> has one. No. <laughs> it's just nice. You know, on a Thursday, for everybody just to wing it out there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and throw in their little comments and their opinions for so today. So today, I c uh, let me just tell you before some of some of the best conversations happen unfortunately before we get on the stream. So I was complaining. I've got um, tummy aches. I've I've been having tummy aches, and I was just telling my colleagues, and they they became <laughs> very concerned for me. And uh, I think never wanted to, was thinking it was medicine, like it's health related, right? Like something is... Yeah. is I just went into a frenzy here in the studio. Mm -hmm. Maria sits over here. She, she complains about, you know, having, and, and she, she was holding a stomach like this. Guys, I, I, I have stomach cramps. It's, it's very, very painful. <laughs> so, and my mother has been a nurse for well over 40 years. So if somebody looks like having a, an, you know, an emergency situation, I immediately goes into, I go into, you, maybe you need this, or, yeah, or uh, this, or this, yeah. What's a dripples, or whatever. She tells us that she's been doing sit-ups and leg raises and training her abs for the last couple of days. And we just went like, ah, chasa, <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> So what sympathy were you looking for? <laughs> I wasn't looking, but I was, I, I, and it's unfortunate that it's those things of trying to impress a man. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Where yeah. you, you push yourself. Mm. Beyond the limit. Yeah. yeah. So basically you did some exercise and now you kind of, kind of have muscle pains. Mm. Yeah, like actual exercises. Please don't. We're still getting uh, compliments to Neville for doing his 40-odd um, push-ups yesterday. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Who fooled your shoulder? How's your shoulder? No, 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 I'm, I'm fine. I'm really, I'm really okay. Um, in terms of body strength, of course, it's, it, it's, it's normal for me. I've been mm -hmm. doing it for well over so 35 So why were you complaining years. about a shoulder? Uh, you know what? If let, Let's say, for instance, if I do push-ups again today, and I do it again tomorrow, uh -huh then the pain will just increase in I increase. think that pain supposed to get better. It's like when I have leg day, the next day I'm in mm -hmm. pain. Mm. Day three, I'm in excruciating pain. But if I actually keep at it, yeah. it, it, it goes away. No, it goes away. Yeah. But this is, a, this is an injury. 
This is not oh. a muscle pain. It's, oh, it's, right. it's an injury that I have. So I think so I need to do some more sit-ups. And so somebody, uh, I saw the comment a little bit earlier. Somebody said on the stream, you know what, Neville did his 40 push-ups yesterday. It would just be fair that Maria also show us her karate skills Move. kicks in the studio today. I'm, I'm just telling you. <laughs> Nobody said that. Somebody said it. I can show you the comment. <laughs> Somebody said that. <laughs> but you would have to fight with me for ah, that. Before, yeah. I will not be embarrassed here in the studio. And yes. it will be the Come talk on, of... It's very easy though. Okay. All right. So okay. Okay. Brace, brace yourself. It's this a... This is a front kick, right? Huh? And this is a side kick. It's just... A, I'm not going to... Have you, have you been doing... Do you know the Kung Fu Karate moves? <laughs> hey? Can she fight? <laughs> yeah, she's a brown belt. Or what? You're kidding me. Yeah, I'm a brown belt. She's a brown belt in okay, karate. Okay, Namibia, there we have it. Uh, Maria is a brown belt in karate. <laughs> so, yeah, I wasn't going um, to. I'm not going to. I'll call the police on you, Maria. Just yeah. Yeah. So I didn't want to kick you, but basically, you just lift her and then you take it. But, but how high can you kick? Very high. No, show me. I <laughs> can <laughs> Okay. Um, <laughs> right, there are a couple of people that uh, Martin or Tony wants to know, Maria, which man are you trying to impress? None what, of who's the person? Business. Come on, let's Google him. <laughs> Just give us the initials <laughs> and we can use the internet. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying generally, I think women mm -hmm. do silly things to impress men. But I think men also do silly things. No, we What don't. is the silliest thing you've ever done to impress a woman? Wow. Okay, c before, we, before you answer that, let me just put this on the table. Mm. Men use love to get sex. Women use sex to find love. Mm. Now answer that on that true, one. True or let's say, I, uh, uh, let's say men, mm -hmm. let, um, they are, let's say, out there in a nightclub or whatever, they mm -hmm. see a beautiful woman and what what they go and charm this lady and then but there's one ultimate purpose for that to it's that is to get her into bed right. yeah you know to do the deed yeah okay where if a woman sees a good-looking guy yeah. she wants to impress him she'll go right up to him offer that deed mm -hmm. and then hopefully find love afterwards huh. uh, interesting no hmm. interesting hmm. because there's there's a bit of truth in there, because I'll tell you why. Uh, I th I think in our history uh -huh. of dating, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, a woman would know me stepping up to her, mm -hmm. younger in my younger days. Jay will me net gebrek. That's always the first thing. Mm. Yes. Jay will me net gebrek. I said, no man, I like you. Mm. I like you. You only want me for sex. Yeah, you just want to use me. I can do stories for you. Mm. Okay. You are a heartbreaker. You do this and you do that. And you obviously need to show her that that's not the case. Yeah. But you're lying because that is the case. Yeah, that is the case. No, yeah. why do you just tell her the truth? Yeah, can he? Let's talk about opening lines. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Mm. My best opening line is the following. Yes. I can have the girl to and say, Leister. It dates a bloot in you. Uh. And I say, say, and I say, will you be here? Give us your best <laughs> opening lines. <laughs> well, because that's what it's all about. Just use your best opening line, Maria. <laughs> 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 okay, okay, okay. Coffee, that one wouldn't work on me because I do have German. Uh, yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't work. <laughs> and it probably won't work on most Herero women. <laughs> Ah, yeah. They like. But coffee has never been with a black woman, so. No, yeah. I haven't. It's just the way it is. Yeah, yeah. it's just yeah. the way it is. Don't worry. <laughs> Neville's never been with a white woman either. It's just the way it is. No, he actually has. Look at him. <laughs> oh. Can we continue? Have you? With the show? Leave, huh? Ah, ah tell us. No, oh. I've never been with a white woman. No, tell us. Ever. <laughs> We're not talking about me at the clerk. We know that was a lie. What? Prati Anakut. 
Nee, wat daar is die ander goed in. <laughs> nee, hier nie, Maria. Jy, jy like stories nie. <laughs> Ek. I, I mean, I nee, would never. <laughs> me have been both sides of I the fence. I would never betray my race. Yeah. No, I've been both sides of the fence. I don't mind. I don't discriminate. Huh? I don't discriminate. Nee, yeah. But size matters. <laughs> This topic is going south as no, we are. It's going north. N- it's going north. <laughs> it's going north. Oh, okay. Van <laughs> 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 uh, It does it. What? Does it matter? I mean, Jelle Prat van, yeah. I think. Why are you guys talking behind our backs? Why? You know what? Can I be honest? Yeah. I think. I think if you know how to work with what you have, you'll be okay. That's oh, all okay. I can say. Oh, okay. It doesn't, you, you can be well endowed and if you don't know how to use it, it's that size is not gonna get you very far. And even if you're small and you don't know, so it, I S- think if you mm. know how to work, it's about working with what you have and if you know how to do it. So that it's not the know. size of the ship, it's the motion of the ocean. It's the motion of the ocean. Yep. Yeah. There we hear you know, it. And, and I mean, I know, I know the, the, this topic comes up quite a bit because I think, you know, men have linked their, unfortunately, their manhood to the size of their, do we say penis in this studio? Penis? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Happiness. Now penis is the scientific, biological I mean, it's, a, biological it's the biological oh, term. So there's oh. a lot of men that link their manhood to, to, to their penis right. size, and unfortunately, um, you find some men with, let's say, the, uh, bigger penises. <laughs> <laughs> they don't put in the work anymore or the effort um, to actually be good in bed okay. because they think the size will get them to to the next place. But I think it's about your skill set. It's about working with what you have. Yes. Yeah, we are learning a few things here, Kofi. I'll tell you, I'm totally educated. Yeah, yeah I'm f- right. You, you Did I say that like a biology teacher? Yes, and yes. I mean, th- th- I need it to be clinical, so you're not sexualizing it. No, no, no. no, no, no. I mean, no, you're, clinical. you're a therapist, yeah. Yeah, that's what you're doing. So, right. We thank you very much. So from <laughs> now on, going forward, yeah, we need to yeah, go just, and do just some put salsa more classes in or your whatever. in your skill set, mm-hmm. in your skill set, how to please your partner, whether it's a woman or a man, just how to please your partner. Communicate. Communicate. Yes. Communicate. There we go. That's it. Yeah, this is Macau. me, sex therapist, Maria. Well, thank you for coming to my sessions. You know, y- y- what do you think the percentage is in, 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 in men, mm. l- like after they've had sex? Mm. What is the percentage in men after they had sex that they turn around and fall asleep? Never happened to me. I never do that. Don't lie, Neville. I cuddle after. Do you know that it's actually the <laughs> the percentage in men who after sex turn around and fall asleep is actually 5%. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. the other 95%, they get up, get dressed, and go home. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly it. <laughs> this. <laughs> so we'll put that one to bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that is very <laughs> true. <laughs> yeah, I really cough, man. Yeah, but you know, but here, the p- unfortunately, it's like mostly the women coming to the guys. I come, Avanya Kanji. Let me call a cab for you. He doesn't even want to take you home. Lefa. <laughs> Lefa. <laughs> Lefa. <laughs> No, it's left actually, yeah. No, it's tough, huh? Dating scene. Mm. Is is <laughs> Relationships are inherently difficult. Yeah, it's not it's it's not easy. I actually think they sh- they are easy. I think we complicate them. But uh, and we complicate them with lies, with the lies, with the need to impress, with the you know, not being ourselves, like putting our best foot forward instead of just putting a foot forward. A foot forward. Um, so creating this illusion of who we are and then it becomes complicated and then like ult- ultimately lying mm. like you said you know lying to a woman no, I mean you know you just want her for sex but now you have to make it seem like it's an int- it's a relationship you want yep. when you know for a fact it's not and that complicates it because then she's gonna feel like hard done in or lied to when after one or two times having sex with her 
you're no longer interested in her and it's like you used me and now it's a commotion now she's trying to ruin your next relationship now she's running around town with your name just because you couldn't be honest but and why believe it or not why there why are women run around with our names i mean i'm not saying where's your dignity no i'm not saying tell her like in in the most brutal term i just want to have sex with you you know mm. that's mm. not the language i'm saying use but kind of make it clear that look i'm not looking for anything like serious with you you know mm. i think if we can come together have yes. fun uh we can both enjoy it there'll be mutual respect um and let's take it from there but 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 i think first and foremost whoever you meet in life you obviously look at a person you look at the physical side of it I mean, I didn't look at my wife for the first time and I thought, you, I want to get married to. Yeah. No, it she was no, just... It's over time. It, it grew on you. No, it's good. Yeah. You yeah. yeah. don't believe in love at Moi first sight? Huh? Yes. You don't believe in love at first sight? Love at first sight. I guess love at first sight, uh, there could be people who have gone through love at first sight, but, yeah. but not in my lifetime. What's love got to do with it? Yeah. Ask Tina Turner. Yes. <laughs> What's love got to do? Got to do with it. <laughs> no. Okay, so let's get some uh, comments here over here. Uh, uh, Istumish Schmiestet says, True coffee size does matter. Boy or oh boy, some men, manhood will disappoint a woman. The reality is that they come in all shapes and sizes, and some are cursed. <laughs> Dudu. Cursed. The monster. Oh. And, uh, oh. Some oh. other people say even the Titanic sank, and that was a big boat. Exactly. Nah. Yeah, I th yes. I think it's what you can do with it for sure. Yeah. yeah. Even okay. The so we're <laughs> it's like I, I would say it's like if you're on the smaller side, you should definitely put more. S you should definitely get more skills on foreplay. <laughs> you should definitely learn how to please a woman with <laughs> foreplay, so that you know. Job half done. Yeah. Then you're already kind of past the the line you know you guys uh, must you guys must look at Marie's and introduce face. toys don't be afraid to introduce toys you must you guys must look at Marie's face here you know at the back of the camera while Maria is talking <laughs> I'm just saying you know <laughs> um, there, there are definitely ways around it you know. <laughs> anyway continue uh, Castro Paul says uh, uh, apparently people that are good I at dancing are also good in bed it's lions it's lies it's lies. Yeah, I, my friends have told me it's lies. Work woman. <laughs> no, my male friends. No, they have. Huh? They say they will see a woman dancing, like she's twerking, she's doing all these things on the dance floor. It's like, yeah. woof, cherry. Mm. And then go to bed and completely, <laughs> just completely, <laughs> completely be different. disappointed. Just completely be disappointed. <laughs> yeah. It's got nothing to do with it. Now, I actually, he, he actually now does the opposite. He says, Maria, as ekena jol and kom. Except I still Yeniki. Those those are the dangerous <laughs> ones. <laughs> that's not <laughs> really that's what but remember you said the same thing. Yeah, true. true. Says those quiet ones in the corner in the club that are just you know, she's just drinking says <laughs> dice. Dying. Ah, dice. Maria. Now you're teaching me something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no, please, ladies that like dancing I'm now, so don't so go lovely. stand in the corner quietly. It's near your style ni. Just Continue being you. <laughs> yeah. And I make a lot of noise. I'm just too loud in public. No, I judge. I judge. Maybe that tells judge. people something. Yeah, it's true. You, you know the guys that always I'm dance I'm the most loud. on the dance floor? Mm -hmm. They go home alone all the time. But while you are sweating, they're going crazy. Guys are busy making their moves. <laughs> By the time you're off the dance floor, sweaty. Cherries <laughs> <laughs> is gone. The cherries is bad. <laughs> and girls will dance with you for entertainment, but they're not really feeling you. Ne? No, no. Say suk dai stel o ok. Say say suk ok as stel o. Yeah. Okay, now yeah. I know. So that was the topic of the day. That was the topic <laughs> of the day. <laughs> Thank you, Maria. I, I must say, I'm leaving here with completely new thoughts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't uh, know if they will work in your community, though. Why? Why would different. they not work in my, my community? No, Maybe women in your community think differently. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. it's the same. I think women are women, right? We're not that conservative. 
Mm. Ons weet gehekelde kondome werkie, but we're not that con- conservative. No, just see. No, we've also moved on as Lani's. Yeah, huh? We've also grown a bit. Yeah. All right. Read some comments before we go. Yeah. Okay, so uh, in closing, um, there are, are, are c- there are a number <laughs> of, of comments. Uh, like Erasi says, but you can tell a black woman that you just want to make out with, her whole street will know the next day. It's not easy. <laughs> is, it? Does it, uh, is that true, Neville, in the black communities? Once the deed has happened, everybody just runs out there and says, I did it with Paulus no, and Erastus. I, and I don't think women, no. no, no. I, I think in general, no. and it depends on which circles you're moving in, yeah, whether yeah. you're black or white. Yeah. You, people talk. That's it. Girls talk. Yes. That's yes. it. No, we only talk about the things we want to talk about. Don't Don't this, ever got what for this yeah. one week? Uh-huh. Worst of it all, worst of it, you small, but you cheating. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lester, this, so long as I get it, it's not going to be Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what else? Um, uh, Ble uh, Kaloma says, but Maria is talking the truth, but nothing but the truth. Size does not matter. Mm. The motion and the way you're doing your zombie. Yeah, you can please, you can please a woman if you want to. Yeah. Yeah. So even if it's not that big, it must just stay incredibly busy. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's ultimately what people are saying here. If I read between the sheets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then, uh, okay, Tarek Mustafa says, a couple of days is correct. It is like saying I'm getting a pair of shoes. The word pair is to indicate that it is two, but yeah. there's still ambu- ambu- ambiguity. Amb- ambiguity. There we go. Yeah. Uh, as to how many pairs. Well, my example is not best suited because with shoes you can say it both ways. Okay, so here come the English teachers. Mm. Mm. English is a difficult language for us Germans. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Speaking of German, uh, just quickly, my kids had German first grade to third grade. Okay. And they only, now they're in fourth grade, and t- French was offered as a third language because you have other Afrikaans, German option for grade one to three. Okay. And then French is introduced in grade four as a, as a third language, as a third second language. Yes. So I moved them from German to French this year. Okay. No, you need to remember, schools closed in November. Everything was online, and they're back at school now. My children said they learned more French in one year than they learned German in three years. Wow. Are we saying that German is a more difficult language than French? That according to them. They said it's, it's French is, is more difficult to spell, mm. but it is m- easier to learn, like, to speak. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah, but basically you just have to take your tongue and roll it in your mouth. Like, <laughs> 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 you don't want to know what we say about the Germans. German is inherently a very, very difficult language because we've got seven tenses. Yes. Oh, I see. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Daddy does them. And then you have to know where to apply. That's the worst one. Yes. Ronnie Kawenji. Ronnie Kawenji says, Hannes, you are just the best. I'm going to use that line. <laughs> oh, the one with the blood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the What's it in no? Ah, that's basically oh, that's it. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, okay. Don't read the comments, guys. But thank you so much for joining us today. It's oh. been wonderful. It's really been a no. pleasure. And today is International Coffee Day, so go and get yourself your cup of coffee. Oh, it's international coffee. Coffee, coffee is going to have coffee. It's, it's international. Coffee. Coffee International day. coffee. I thought you said they must get themselves a cup of coffee. Uh, hey, that could work. My yeah, new slogan. Thanks, yeah, Maria. Yeah, huh? that's what we heard. <laughs> <laughs> that's a line you can use today. Yeah. Yeah. You, you can only use it today. <laughs> yes, only today. <laughs> Have yourself a wonderful Thursday. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.